artists today will be going through the history behind Christian rap. I will be also going through a lot of modern day artists such as David O'Keefe, Rev J, Charlotte CC, Caleb Gordon, Prince Sarge, and also Two Metro. I may God bless you all and hopefully you take something from this video. To understand the actual history behind Christian rap, we have to go back to Jacksonville, Florida, 1946, where the Jubilees of a gospel group made their hit song called Noah, which is talking about the prophet Noah from the Bible and how he constructed an ark that God told him to create. Many individuals also claim that Theodore Brooks, who is part of the Jubilees, has been the first official rapper, even though hip hop didn't come around until the 70s. This thought is based on the rhythmic flow from which Timonis can still be heard throughout the raps of many Christian artists today, alongside modern day gospel music and Christian R&B. So to fully understand Christian rap, we have to skip 39 years and enter the year 1985 where Stephen Wiley, the first official Christian rapper, made a hit called Bible Break. And the song itself also talks about how Christian rap is the right rap and how Jesus Christ has love for everyone. And another fact about Stephen is that he was born in Muskegee, Oklahoma in the year 1958. Just six years after Stephen Wiley's song Bible Break, Fred Lynch, the leader of PID, made a Christian rap called The Chosen Ones, which is split into two parts, which is part one and part two. The group also had two other artists that go by the names Barry G, who converted to the Nation of Islam, and DJ Selector, who continued making music with Fred Lynch after being one man down. Then on the 1st of January 2005, Anne Lavoisier made a song called God, where he talks about how worldly rap has corrupted the minds of people, and that God is the only person who has everything that people are searching for. In 2007, Anne Lavoisier went to a school to talk about the dark sides about worldly rap and even exposed the lyrics of certain famous rappers. In 2009, Lecrae would drop a Christian rap called Don't Waste Your Life, but we'll get back to him as a lot of people claim that some of his songs from the 2000s contain lyrics that are worldly, and he also admitted that he was doing some worldly things during this period as well. From 2010 till now, Christian rap has gone global. It's now available in countries such as China, DR Congo, UK, France, Ivory Coast, and the ones mentioned below and more. During the first year of this decade, C. Jin, a Chinese Christian rapper, would make a song called Save. And just five years later, Paul Gio Vishal would go ahead and release a song called Vot Eta Bogu Slava, which means this is glory to God in Russian. And we also have an update on Lecrae, where he goes ahead and makes a song called All I Need Is You in 2014. And even though the message may seem better, he still wasn't living the life he represented in his songs. But don't worry, as we'll be coming back to Lecrae in a decade's time, where he actually makes the true change. Now we'll be going through the modern day artists, as I mentioned in the intro. And we'll be starting off with David O'Keefe, who was born in Brussels, Belgium on the 23rd of November 2000. And when he was 8 years old, he moved out of Belgium to live with his family in Kinshasa, which is the capital city of DR Congo. Then, at the age of 16, he came back to Europe to get his diploma, and today, David O'Keefe quit school to focus on music. And now we'll take a look at David O'Keefe's musical history. We can see from David O'Keefe's YouTube channel that he's been in the industry for a very long time, since 2016 to be exact. But however, any song in his YouTube channel in this time period were not giving any glory to God, but were giving glory to the things of the world. For example, David O'Keefe's song Gregory, that was released on the 1st of November 2019, talks about shooting alongside David O'Keefe insulting his rivals, stating that they don't have enough money to even buy girls' makeup, whilst also stating that him and his rivals are at two different levels. However, things would then take a U-turn in 2021, where David O'Keefe will give his life to Christ and release a song called Ego, where he talks about his history, including the fact that his parents separated from each other when he was only three years old how he held his first goal at 19, which he regrets, and also praises God for being with him throughout all of these dilemmas. Amen. So we're now here to talk about Rev J, who's a young Christian British artist based in London, and his mission is to reach out to his generation with music that glorifies God. And he found his talent for music at the age of eight, and as time passed by, he released his first track, Crown of Thorns, in 2015. Thorns on his head, yeah. he was bombs, he was bleeding, died on my behalf, oh. me his interceding, now I am alive, here today I'm breathing, hey. high above the clouds with the eagles I'm soaring. Oh. Rev J has also made music with other Christian artists, but most of his collaborations are with a Christian artist called GS, and they also made a song with a strong message back in December 2018, which is called What's Poppin'. I'm on it, I come to a block with SWAT. Who's on? Who said then who's not? Aye. Who really needs God? If it ain't Christ, then I don't give a toss. No. Unless I'm big, he died on the cross. No Hugo, but he's that boss. Aye. 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 No Hugo, but he's that boss. Come to a block with SWAT. Who said then who's not? Aye. Who really needs God? If it ain't Christ, then I don't give a toss. Unless I'm big, he died on the cross. Christ came down and he paid that cost. One that fight, it'll take no loss. One that fight, it'll take no loss. <laughs> 
And here's some other key facts about RevG. I'm feeling revived by this gospel drill Just got a door to the word of God, I'm high I don't pop no pills I needed saving and I was By the one that's Christ, part of the church I feel like a nun, committed for life No jeepers, creepers, pull up with sweepers Where they hide, in the pew with a preacher Scripture squeezers, pull up where they reside It's more than rhymes or posts online I'm talking is life Of his goodness, Yo. I've tasted, I can testify Yo.